Tonight we're hearing from a former member of the Islamic Society of Tampa Bay who says mosque leadership there knew about past allegations involving a youth director who's been arrested and charged with sexually abusing kids. And tonight he says the mosque could have done more to protect those children. Eric Waxler with the story. Wade Abawi says he has the weight of Tampa's Muslim community on his shoulders because he is speaking out against the mosque where he was once a volunteer. That is not going to stop me from telling the truth for what I saw. Abawi says he was in meetings where Islamic Society of Tampa Bay leaders spoke about the youth director now charged with molesting children from the mosque. He says they knew there had been prior accusations against Iyab Gonaim, but still put him in charge of kids. If they would have hired a private investigator or if they would have hired anyone for that matter, that they would have found all those things. But they didn't do that. Gonaim is accused of molesting five children at his Pinellas Park home and possibly while on some mosque sanctioned field trips. But attorneys say there could be many more victims. We are heartbroken in this community because of what this guy has done. Because we try so hard, the community as a whole, we try so hard to do the right thing, and we are, you know, all of us are. And then when a situation like this happens, it seems like somebody just comes and literally step on your face. Abawi chose to speak out right across the street from the mosque and quickly got the attention of members of the Islamic Society who say he is a disgruntled former member. He's never been an employee here. I never said I was, I just said I was a volunteer. At first, Islamic Society leaders avoided questions, but then said they do have empathy for the victims. We talk to the parents, we understand their pain, we understand, they understand what's going on, and, you know, that's all I can tell you. It's an ongoing case, so I cannot tell you, but we are in constant communication with them. Along with the criminal case, there's also a civil lawsuit from one of the victims against the former youth director and others at the mosque who were in charge in Tampa. Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.